Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? We're back in the studio. No more vlogs for you. No, I'm just kidding. How are you guys doing today? We are going to be filming a testing, super hyped TikTok made me buy it video. So I'll see this right here. Some of these things I did buy and some of these things I got in PR, but I wanted to try them out here on camera with you guys to see if it's worth the hype. Is it worth the virality? Is it worth the coin? Do you carry a lunchbox? <laughs> yeah, that's how it is going to be. We're going to be testing out some really hyped TikTok makeup. I also want to quickly just say thank you to the love on my last video. Uh, the kind of vlog style, kind of showing off my living room, the vlog style that I did. It didn't get that many views in comparison to my channel, which I'm not surprised about because I'm a beauty center channel. I'm not a vlogging channel. Like I'm not, I didn't expect it to do like great numbers or whatever the hell it might be, but I got a lot of comments on it, more comments than I usually get. It was so nice reading them and seeing that you guys did enjoy the vlogging style and the vlogging vibe. So I might not do it like very often, maybe like once a month or something, maybe every other month, like a vlog thrown in there because it doesn't do as good for my channel. When you have like outliers on your channel, it's not good for your channel's health, like on YouTube, that's just like a side note. Anyway, at the end of the day, it is what it is. But I enjoy getting to sit down and just chat with you guys and it felt so much more personable. And a lot of you guys said that and I loved it. And I think that we could totally build a little mini vlogging community. But at the end of the day, I am a makeup channel. I do makeup content. And I think that sometimes for me, it can get a little repetitive and I want to branch out myself. Like I want to do other things, but I'm a makeup channel. So I, I built my career and my audience and you guys off of makeup and reviews and my style of videos. So I love it and I always want to keep doing it, which I'm going to continue to do. Um, but it's also just nice to throw in some other things here and there, you know, which is why I want to say I appreciate you guys. The people that did watch it, I appreciate you guys watching it and the people that commented, way more comments than I usually get in videos. So um, it was nice to see and I genuinely felt good reading them. But anyways, you guys, that's what today's video is gonna be. We're gonna talk about viral makeup, enough with the mushy stuff. I love you, you get it. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. Enjoy with that. Yeah, I'm looking up and down. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like when we go and buy some viral TikTok makeup so you don't have to, you guys like the gays? What, what's this hand doing? Oh, I was, I'm gay. You guys do a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you're new, what's up? And my name is Yui, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here, I really appreciate it. Uh, join the fam, subscribe. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, start. <laughs> We're gonna just try all these goodies out. We have the Real Techniques new you know, very look, it looks gimmicky to me, my opinion. Uh, this like makeup saber sponge that has like this like skin like texture. We have the new Rare Beauty powders. I've seen literally everyone do videos with Selena on this powder. The Viral three second setting mist from L'Oreal, which is supposed to be a dupe for the one size one, which looks really incredible. The Fenty lippies, I bought these at Ulta. Tarte, the concealer, the new Creases Creamy, the new Creases Creamy. Baby, we saw those iPads go out to those to those girlies we saw. And then I'm freaking screaming because I wanted to try the new Benefit uh, Matte Professional. There was a brand trip that they took the girlies on and they launched this out there and the powder. And I was like, fuck, I haven't gotten PR yet when I'm gonna film. Tell me why I got like an Ipsy box. The professional matte primer. <laughs> we will be trying this today. <laughs> we can try Miss Professional. Do I think it'd be kind of fun? You guys, what do you think of this idea? What if I did a video where I tested products that launched on brand trips? Like, are they actually good? Or they just look good because they're on a brand trip? Because I've had experiences where I'm on a brand trip and they launched something and it was not the tea and the brand new wasn't the tea and the influencers were shook. Oh, and we we were very shook. I'm pouring it out. It's like a a thick white, viscous even consistency. Oh yeah, it's dense. Damn, it smells just like professional does. I wonder what it's gonna give. I'm very intrigued about this. I actually do feel like it's gonna it's gonna work. I really do. I already feel like my face is looking more matte from just applying it. And I love that classic um, benefit smell. They have like this very specific smell that I really like but I'm intrigued to see how this lays under makeup, how it keeps me throughout the day. I can already tell immediately that I did get more matte. I immediately got more matte, which is so slay. I love an immediate satisfaction. So that's kind of cool. I don't think it necessarily like blurred out my skin. Hold on. There's a small blur. There's a small, a very, there's a very small blur. Nothing crazy. There's a little bit of blur 
to my skin. Nothing crazy, but there's a little blur to my skin. Okay, um, I'm gonna take this Real Technique sponge. I'm gonna go, do I soak it? Is this the type that you wet? Like, do you wet this sponge? Makeup sponge absorbs 90% less makeup in 30 days. Mimics fingers. This is very interesting. I actually saw Michaela use this on a TikTok and I was so intrigued by the way this looked that I was like, girly, you got me, gal. Makeup saver sponge. Do you think we should wet it? I don't know. It doesn't say anything about wetting it anywhere. I want to, but I don't know. Michaela, did you wet it? Let me let me see this little beach. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is amazing. Okay. Let's try it. Covered. Looks really good. Okay, so you're not supposed to wet it. You're not supposed to soak the sponge. It's supposed to be dry. Dude, it feels like a finger. <laughs> it feels like kind of skin-like. There's texture, it's just like a soft, think of a soft texture. Imagine if this was warm, oh bitch. This is going somewhere, it shouldn't go. It's fascinating, it's a quite a fascinating texture. Let's put some foundation on, shall we? I'm gonna go in with the same foundation that she used, she used with the Superstay, which is literally one of my favorite foundations of all time. Okay, we're gonna take our Real Techniques sponge and we're gonna see the tea. This really does feel quite fascinating, I'm not gonna lie because it doesn't absorb your product. It really doesn't. It does. It stays on the surface and you are able to actually blend quite well. It reminds me of those silicone blenders. It's a kind of more of a gimmicky version of a silicone blender, but I'm not kidding. A, a little bit does go a long way when it comes to the product because it keeps your coverage there. It does keep that coverage there and it still does blend. So I'm actually quite impressed with it. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a, a complete gimmick and not work to be quite honest. I was a little like skeptical. I went in skeptical, I'm not gonna lie. I know I shouldn't, but I did. A little product goes a long way with this, you guys. It really does. It's cause it's that silicone-ness. It's that silicone-ness and you're supposed to use it dry, which I'm fascinated by the fact that you have to use it dry, but. And you guys know I have coined the term, if a gimmick works, it's an innovation. I feel like I've coined that. I do feel like I've coined that. I really do. But you guys, I barely used any product on here. Like, and I'm getting more coverage than I usually do because I'm using a skin tint. I'm using the Maybelline Skin Tint and I'm getting this much. Diva, why does this actually really work? I'm excited to try it underneath my eyes and see what that's giving. 100% with concealer because that literally looks so insanely beautiful and impressive. And there's no like streaks in my face. That's the part that's gagging me as well. There's like no streaks and it didn't absorb my product. So I feel like that's kind of what you would want, right? Like that's kind of everything you would hope for and pray for when it comes to a product that it wouldn't absorb. I will say you have to maneuver it a little bit more around the nose because of like the way, you know, your nose is shaped and it's bent. You have to definitely manipulate the, the applicator a little bit more. <laughs> I'm giggling because I think it's funny that this is actually working. <laughs> I'm more impressed than I thought. It's quite gimmicky, but it is fun. An innovative gimmick, 100%, and I like it. And honestly, I would use this again, especially if I want more coverage. I have a lot of questions about this little bitch right here. I have a lot of questions. Moving right along, I'm gonna go in with concealer. Right now, this is the new Tarte Creaseless Creamy. The reason I saw this was because of Tarte actually sending out they sent a certain, a couple of influencers iPads and the influencers showed off the iPads and they're like, oh my God, I got an iPad with my Tarte Creases Creamy. So I saw it more often because well, one, the influencers talking about, oh my God, I got an iPad and then people talking shit about the influencers getting iPads. <laughs> so it was quite a journey. It was just quite a journey. So I went out and got this one at Ulta. I didn't get it in PR. <laughs> I sure didn't. But it's funny because Tarte sends me PR. I just didn't get this one. And it's so, do you know what's crazy? Can I, can I have this, can I clock this tea real quick? Real Techniques sends me PR, didn't get this, I, I bought this one. Uh, Tarte sends me PR, didn't get this, bought this one. Benefit sends me PR. Fenty sends me PR, but I did not get the lip liner and like the little lip, the gloss bomb sticks, I didn't get those. So I was literally like, what is going on? It is quite, it's a conundrum as a creator, it's a conundrum. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go in with the shade Light Beige with our, oh my God. First of all, the creaminess that that just happened just shocked me because of how smooth and cre This might be the life for me, huh? I will say immediately though, it is so smooth and creamy. I'm kind of like surprised. Okay, why don't we use that same little sponge and see what the tea is. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting it to be thicker. Like I was expecting kind of a thick consistency because it's like a creaseless, you know, concealer, but it's way, way, way thinner than I was expecting it to be. Do you think it's gonna crease? It's supposed to be creaseless, so let's see. 
It's also looking very hydrating underneath my eyes. One thing I will note about this little sponge is that you really have to make sure you go over it a few times because you'll get streaks from the sides. Like these, the sides of this will give you a streak. So you don't want to obviously get streaks. So I want to make sure you're just kind of bouncing back and forth. Was this concealer worth the iPads? Let's find out. Again, this just reminds me a lot of that whole conversation I had with Laura on full coverage about like the tiered PR and how it feels so strange that there's some people that get, you know, tiered PR, some people that don't, I've been on both ends and it is just a weird feeling when it comes to sending out creators that they see more valuable and more value out of them a better PR than other creators. It just feels weird and it's just like, I don't know what to tell you, Diva. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, is this gonna crease? Let's find out. I will say it looks literally so sick. Like it has, I would say, a nice medium coverage. Okay, it looks actually quite insanely beautiful. And it doesn't dry as fast as I was expecting either because usually something that goes creaseless will dry it insanely fast. And you're like, oh girl, you tried it. You guys, I like it. Cause I feel like it looks really good underneath the eyes. Like it feels almost like hydrating. It feels hydrating. It feels like I'm not wearing any concealer, which I'm surprised about. Like it doesn't feel heavy at all. It feels It was thinner going on than I thought. So smooth, so creamy. It's creasing lightly, but not nearly as creasy as other concealers are on me. But there's creasing. There's creasing absolutely happening. I don't think anyone can claim, any concealer brand can claim crease list because it's like, babe, it's gonna crease. And I would say this is more of a medium coverage concealer. So if you're looking for a concealer, that's creases less, but still creases. Medium coverage, very thin and lightweight. Honestly, feels hydrating underneath the eyes, surprisingly so. I think you guys would actually enjoy this. I really do because it is quite stunning. I might even add another layer just to see if we can get it a little bit more coverage. I think I want to go a little bit darker with the shade as well. I think I need a darker shade because I feel like this one is a little too light for me. Do you see how it looks like very lifelike underneath the eyes? Like it looks like there's, it's like a skin-like finish. It's not super glowy, but it's not matte either. It looks quite just good, to be honest. I think you're gonna like this if you're dry as well. I think you will like it if you're dry. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do some cream bronzers, cream blush, um, and powder my under eyes, and then I'll come back to try out the new Rare Beauty powder. This is the Tinted Pressed Finishing Powder. So I'm gonna use that at the end of my face so we can actually set it and see what it looks like. Um, and what it's giving, because this one I saw going around, everyone was with Selena making content for this powder. So I saw it massively everywhere. So I'm excited to try it out and see what actually goes online because I haven't tried it yet. Okay, Slay, here we are. Looking absolutely gorgeous. I only have cream bronzer and cream blush on Lunar Beauty. <laughs> Moon Prism Liquid Blushes in Rose Arena is my blush today. Mm, chef's kiss. Okay, let's move on to our Rare Beauty new tinted pressed finishing powder. We're gonna finish this face with this powder and we're gonna see what the tea is. I do like the packaging, I think it's really adorable. I like that it's so compact and easy to like travel and carry. By the way, I'm taking the shade Ivory. This is pressed really hard. I'm impressed, like it's, it's pressed like shockingly hard for for what it is. Like I'm, I'm surprised I'm not getting more product on here. Oh, okay guys, so the finish is not a matte finish. It's almost like a satin, a satin finish. And it's super, super thin because it is pressed so hard, it creates a thinner formulation. Let me try a little puff and see what the puff's giving because I'm quite curious. Yeah, you can definitely apply more, but it doesn't seem like you're applying that much more because the finish is almost glowy. No, not glowy. I would say skin-like, skin-like finish. Finish-wise, it does have kind of give me a remembrance of the like MAC Mineralized Skin Finish where it doesn't look like, doesn't look super matte, but it does look, you know, like skin, skin-like, skin-like. You know what, this is a little, this shade is too dark for me uh, on a puff. Cause you can see like where I put it. Let's see how it's like too dark right here in this area. Let's go back to the brush. I don't know, I feel like the brush doesn't deposit enough product. I want the puff. <laughs> okay, so the powder, it's interesting. It's an interesting powder. I didn't expect the finish to be what it is. It's a literal like satin, satin finish, I would say. Not a lot comes up on the brush or on the puff necessarily. Not a ton happens. I'm surprised by that. <laughs> but the cool thing about it, because it is such a lightweight powder, you can keep piling on and I'm not getting cakey. That's the thing. I'm not getting cakey whatsoever, even with this many layers of powder I'm applying. I would definitely not say that this is something that's like gonna keep my makeup on long though. Like I would need a like loose powder, then I can finish my face with this as a finishing powder like they suggest. 
But this is not going to be something that's going to be like, ooh, let me keep your oils at bay. No. As an oily combo girly myself, I can just tell you that right now. It's not going to keep our, our oils at bay. But if you are drier, I think you're going to live because it's a powder and it sets your skin. But it's not drying whatsoever. You can actually keep piling on and piling on and piling on and literally... There's no geekiness. I'm definitely definitely impressed by it. It's just more unique. I don't have a. I don't think I have a powder that acts like this, with this this little of coverage and this kind of finish. I don't have a powder like this. It's quite unique. It's a, it's unique powder to my set, if you will. It's a unique powder to my collection. I will say, which is kind of surprising, because I literally have a Sephora in my beauty room. <laughs> I'm gonna keep playing with it, I'm gonna keep toying with it, see how it goes, see how it works. I would definitely, if you are more in the oily side, I just don't think it's gonna do as much as a like loose powder would do for you. We're gonna keep trying it, we're gonna keep playing with it, we're gonna see the vibes. But I will say, it does look beautiful on the skin, even with uh, five layers. It gives you a little tint, definitely no coverage. Baby, the coverage is non-existent. It is just setting your face. It's just setting your face, 1,000%. Well, how, how fascinating, what a fascinating, interesting product for me. I will say again, with the concealer, the Tarte Creaseless, it definitely does crease a little bit, but I will say, when it comes to creasing, it's one of the least creasing concealers I own. So that's, you know, sickening and cool. And I definitely want my shade, but I will say, I do think that that looks beautiful underneath the eyes, and I'm liking it. I definitely had to set my under eyes, though. For sure. Okay, what do we have next in this repertoire? We have these these guys left to test out and we're gonna see what it's giving. I'm gonna go do a quick little miniature eye look and do my brows off camera. Nothing crazy at all because I wanna just test these products and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. We are back, 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 back again. Back in the faces on. Back in the faces on. Back in the faces on. <laughs> okay, I'm not well. It's okay. Um. Anyway, so we are here. I added some powder bronzer, some powder blush, some highlight, and honestly, I'm looking fierce as fuck. Okay, also, why am I literally obsessed with this mascara? Hold on, this is the one I'm wearing right now, and I honestly love it. Bro, the Essence Lash Princess Waterproof, the false effect waterproof, is so fierce for me because it gives you the Lash Princess vibes, which I like. I like how thickening and intense it is, but waterproof to keep my curl up as much as I possibly can. Like this for me, I feel like for a mascara is quite good. It looks like a little chunky and a little intense when it comes to like applying it because I did two coats. So I, you know, I could have done a better job, but like honestly, I don't give a fuck. Cause I like that it looks more bold. Like I don't even care if it looks chunky. I like it and I also don't know where I put my like lash comb. So they clumped, they clumped. I don't give a shit. Okay, so we do our infallible first. Why don't we do our new L'Oreal infallible? When I tell you this freaking setting spray has ran rampant across my FYP. Like I see people doing sponsorships with this or like doing TikTok shop stuff with this all the time. I don't even have a specific video I'm referencing. I just see it all the time, all the time. So we're, I'm so excited to try it. This is a up to 36 hour Defy Transfer three second setting mist. So let's try it out and see what it's giving. It's supposed to be a dupe for one size, which is very, very viral and really good. Mm. Oh shit, the body demons. Okay, you guys, let me tell you something right there. That's hairspray. I, I. It is very similar to the one size one. It smells very intense, smells like hairspray. Feels quite like a shellac going on the face. Like it feels kind of tight. Um, and now I feel like there's like this literal film over my face. I feel like I can see a little film over it. No, but this like my eat like this is eating no wonder it's viral like no wonder it's viral no wonder i see so many people talking about that that shit truly is like insanity let's move on to our lips now this is something i saw from glamzilla she talked about the bl gloss balm stick the high shine gloss stick in the shade specifically to lip kiss this is the one she was like bitch this is the one this is a sickening ass universal shade so i'm like okay i want to try it out i'm intrigued and i ended up just buying myself the traced out lip pencils so I just want to try them out myself. I was really intrigued by it. They look very nice. They kind of look like the House Labs packaging a little bit to me, um, but they look really, really nice. I grabbed the shade Peanut Butter. Super creamy immediately. I live. Why am I? I have a smell thing. I don't know. Very creamy. It's like one of those sharpenable pencils too. You guys know I have a hard on for those, right? 
Yep, you can sharpen it. Oh, that's good. Shit, that's good. I like this shade a lot because it, it's basically just a beige. It's like a nude beige tone. It's not too pink. It's not too brown. It's just like a classic beigey lip tone, which I think is really quite stunning. One of my go-to lip liner shades now, I'm not gonna lie, because this color is so unique. Just the fact that it's a beige nude that's not too warm, not too cool, not too pink, not too brown. Peanut butter? You better believe I'm obsessed. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and try out Miss Gloss Balm Sticks. These I've seen everywhere, like obviously, absolutely everywhere. They look beautiful, I like the packaging. And I'm really excited to try out what they go on like, because it looks like a really nice kind of peach tone. Well, they smell really good. They are glossy immediately. When it comes to this actual product itself, I was thinking it was gonna be like the Melty Mac, like like those juicy kind of like, blah, like it just like kind of falls off your lips. Like I literally thought it was gonna be like that. It's actually more firm, if that makes sense. Like this is actually a product that isn't as melty. Like, yes, it's melty, absolutely. But it's a beautiful, like, a soft peach. A soft peach tone that is quite a universal tone. That looks absolutely insane. I want to slap myself in the face because I look so sick. I mean, obviously. Miss Glamzilla, she put the girlies on because this is fierce. This is fierce. Also, the lip pencil, right now I had to wipe it off really hard. Like, that shit was... That shit was stuck. But anyways, you guys, I think that is it for all the testing, these viral TikTok makeup that TikTok made me buy. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. There's a lot of products here that I was very intrigued by, but I do feel like the majority of them are worth the virality. I want to play with a lot of them more. I want to play with the, you know, the rare powder. Like, it's such a fascinating product to me. I've never felt a finishing powder like it, really. So I'm very intrigued or seeing a product like that. I need a darker shade of the creaseless because I do like it a lot. It does still crease, but very much less than any concealer I own. Like it's definitely one of the least creasing. However, I wish that there was more coverage. I did two layers to get it to a coverage spot that I like. So I do wish I had a little bit more coverage to it, but maybe if I use a shade that's closer to my tone, it will give me more coverage. You know what I mean? Like maybe it will get me there. What else? The Fenty products were absolutely show-stoppingly beautiful. I'm so impressed with them. I'm so... Honestly, I'm sad I didn't get them in VR. Like, I wish I knew about them sooner. Like, dead ass. Like, I'm almost, like, sad. Like, that I didn't get them. I'm like, fuck. I think I might have to go back and get some of the other shades because I really do like them a lot. And I'm very, very impressed. The L'Oreal Setting Spray, insane. Like, literally, that shit, it truly is a dupe for the one size one. I'm gagged. That was fierce. Also, even the sponge was, like, interesting and it worked. Like, it actually did its job. And my face looks very blended out and very well, like, blended. I just said that twice. It was gimmicky, yes, but it's a, a gimmick that worked. So it was fun. If you're interested in a product like this, I think it will actually work for you and you will enjoy it. Um, if you don't wanna use your fingers, but you like that kind of consistency, I will say you need that. Like you don't get any warmth from it. You don't get that warm finger like thing, like where it's actually a product that you can warm up with your fingers. You don't get that with this, but it still did its job. And I need to try more, of course, the Benefit Pore, the matte primer, I need to try that more to see what it's gonna give and see if it's gonna keep me more matte throughout the day. But I will say immediately, it did mattify me when it went on, like immediately. So I have, I have high hopes. I'm impressed with a lot of these products. I really am, I'm impressed with a lot of these products and I would recommend a bunch of them. I really would. Um, especially the Fenty products in Sanary. I would say those would be like my top of the video or the, the Fenty products. And I really like the L'Oreal as well, even though it's strong as hell and it will, um, take years off your life every time you use it. I do think that it worked well. Anyways, you guys have a great rest of the night or day Wherever you guys are, I hope you guys have fun watching it. I had a great time filming it. Um, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye <laughs> Hey, baby, mm -hmm. hey, baby mm -hmm. But I enjoyed getting to be able to just sit down and just chit chat. Y'all, why am I getting random ass bitches? Texting me that I don't even know who I am. I didn't apply for a credit card. Oh Fuck let's cut myself. A lot of people will be scared. And I'll name him. Papa, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, didn't make it. <laughs>